morning guys, it's a fellow specimen here, and I decided that it's been about a year almost since I did this, and I'm going to have another go at hardcore. It's been a lot of changes since then, and it's just amazing how the mods that were in the game in the past are now a part of it, you know, the CJB mod pack I used, you know, it had a hunger bar, and now there's hunger in the game, the hardcore modes in the game. Mini maps are kind of in the game in the form of maps, and it's really added a lot to the experience. So anyway, I'm um, gonna go ahead and create a world here, and game mode hardcore, world name. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and call this. I'm gonna call this Lateralis, which is one of my favorite songs from one of my favorite bands. Just to show you, I'm not using any seeds or anything. Normal stuff there. Hardcore. And that's it. Let's create it. Let's see what we got going on. Some people who play multiplayer with me, they know that I love snow because I hate listening to rain. It just sucks. I, I hate listening to rain. So, this is good. I'm excited. First things first, just gonna get some wood here. Uh, one other limitation that I'm imposing on myself on this is I'm not going to do any traditional branch mining. All of my ore gathering and things of that sort are going to all be from cave exploration because they've really you know with the ravines and the cave systems and stuff they've really added a lot to it and it's easier to get ore so there shouldn't be any reason to actually branch mine that's just my opinion but we will see i'm gangplank instead of mundo which is kind of nice I, I like gps pretty awesome Pick. I'm gonna go find some stone. Hmm. Oh, something else I'm doing is I have the uh, water shader mod on here, so the water reflects surface which is and the clouds which is kind of cool got some cows oh crap I just remembered something texture pack Well, I did forget, but I'm remembering now, so it's all good. Downloaded the latest out pack. Sorry, help, but that's gonna be annoying as hell. I'm gonna have to stick with default until that gets changed. Maybe I'll send him an email or something. I like the rest of his work though. I've been debating on 
what sort of playthrough I wanted to do for my next Minecraft, but the hardcore one was was fun when I did it last time. And I got a few messages from different people as well as some real life friends and I ended up just sticking with the hardcore. I wanted to do this before 1.2 came out. So if 1.2 comes out, I'm still gonna I'm not gonna delete this world or anything unless I actually die. But the jungles look really cool. Let's make some torches. But we basically need a shelter and a food source. So I'm gonna go back and get those cows in a minute. I think this is where my shelter is going to be. Let me go back down and get those cows. And get some more stone. Which I could have done while I was getting the coal, but oh well. I'm sidetracked by all the epicness. gather stone until this wood pick breaks. I don't know about anybody else, but if anybody's ever had a like a, a, an almost broken wood pick in their inventory, just knowing that it's there just gives you that little bit of irritation. Of course that could be just me, because I'm OCD about some things. That is kind of cool looking too. I mean, it's nowhere near as awesome as some of the overhangs that I've seen, but I like overlooking this forest for some reason. Okay. I want to 
to say they were over there on that side of the lake. I am kind of curious. What is everybody's favorite biomes? As far as Minecraft is concerned, if you're inhabiting a biome, like what's your what's your most preferred to stay in? that waste your seeds when you do that. Oh, and something I didn't do. Sheep for bed. the cows. I still hate leaving remnants of trees lying around. <laughs> I 
that's a creeper right there. Hey, bunny. By the shinies. There's a spider. I could use some string though. Skeleton on. Yes, I like clay. I might, um, on this series, I might, I might do some building off screen too. Nothing serious, but. What's up, buddy? Great. Did he just fall down the same? Oops. 
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's like a death trap. Watch there be another one up there, though. I gotta say, I love the knockback. When you sprint and then hit somebody. It's so good. as a precaution. Yeah. I don't need to be falling down there. <laughs> That's all I need. So I survived my first night without even having a shelter. Go figure. And I didn't hide in a two by one hole. So if anybody's looking for information on how to survive for your first night, does that have to involve a shelter? Just gotta make some weapons, fight it off. Another reason I chose up here for the vantage point is because since Endermen are rare spawns, it's gonna be harder to hunt them for uh, Ender Pearls. But if I'm up here, it's easy because I can just look in the distance. One spawns, I just look at it, and then it'll teleport up here, and I can kill it. So that's my thought process behind that. Almost done clearing these trees. We got plenty of lumber, that's for damn sure. Uh, I almost broke a stone axe already, which is pretty, uh, pretty nuts. Who knows, maybe I'll use some when I build them. So goals that I still have to do that I'm trying to get by next, or I might do during next episode is, well, I need to get a shelter, which I might build off screen, maybe not, we'll see.
need to find a cave, and I need to get some iron so I can get better tools. So that, uh, cause I, I won't go, you know, I won't go further down in a cave without iron. I think over there, that little mountain over there, maybe I might have a cave. So I'm gonna probably head over that way. That's weird. It's almost like you can see the borders of the chunks over there. In oh, that's in the ice. Yeah, you can see chunk borders in the ice. Ah, what the hell, I'll just build the shelter now, why not? Sandy. foundation there. the rest of this off screen. You guys don't need to see me build a house. Especially since I'm going to need to get more stone and things like that. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for when I decide to go adventuring and get more, get some iron and so I can go deeper. I'd like to get to the ender dragon, that'd be, that'd be sweet. It's good that they put an end to the game, otherwise there wouldn't really be a point playing hardcore, in my opinion. Alright. Thanks for watching. See you next time.